Good evening, MCCW fans, and welcome to another edition of Wednesday Night Voltage, coming at you live from Anaheim, California. My name is Alistair Mayfield, your host and commentator as always, and tonight we have another stack card here for you tonight. Second half of the show featuring the first half of the qualifiers in regards to the title match at the November 20th pay-per-view for the MCCW North American Championship. We get to see which three competitors will advance to that very match here tonight. And I, for one, am very excited to see what the table will look like by the end of the night. So without further ado, let's get right to it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Dark Carnival, weighing in at 189 pounds, Jester! Psychotic one, not off to the grace of starts, having suffered back-to-back -back losses to Ozymandias. He's definitely looking to try to grasp the same success that his stablemate Trickster has had. And his opponent, from Jacksonville, Florida, weighing in at 175 pounds, Jake Marston! The younger of the Marston brothers, Jake hasn't exactly had the best run either, having only managed to claim one win in the six matches that he's been a part of. He's definitely trying to make his way up the rankings here, but he definitely has a challenge in Jester tonight. Carnegie calls to the bell and the match is underway. Jester picks the leg and there's an immediate dragon screw. Marston back up to his feet, able to avoid that drop kick. Jester, Irish whip, he's back, oh, Marston able to slide beneath the Hurricane Ron, attempt tries to run himself, gets powerbombed to the canvas. Back up, Jester with a left hand, Marston missing with that right, Irish whip, oh, Jake able to duck that flying Larry to tap, he's drop with the elbow, however, to lock up, now Marston with the left hand, lock up again, Jester this time with a drop toe hold. Back up, oh, Marston into a backslide, Jester quickly breaking out of it. Marston catching him with that right hand. Jester drops him with that DDT. Marston back into his feet, misses with the kick. Misses with the right, Jester misses with that spinning soul kick, ducks the left. It's caught from behind, but he drops Marston with a cutter. Back up, gets caught with that left hand, catches him with that spin kick. Marston retaliating with one of his own. Jester with the scoop slam. No, Marston with the drop to old counter. Catches Jester with another left hand. Irish whip again. Marston again ducking the Larry. It goes for a cover, but Jester very quickly kicking out. Lock up Jester with another drop to old. Both Marston back up. Lock up. Irish whip. Whoa, he's able to avoid the bicycle kick there. Irish whip, and he spikes Marston on his head. The rope sliding drop kick to the side of the head. Marston with the elbow falls with the double knees right to the spine. Now Marston takes Jester down with a vertical suplex. Back up to his feet. Oh, now here they go, Marston, Jester, Marston, Jester. Marston winning that exchange. Comes off the roof, somersault sent on right across the back. Gets his Jester with another left hand. Jester with the Irish whoop again. Marston is stuck in the area and dropping the elbow right on Jester's head. Jester cracks Marston with an elbow across the jaws. And comes off sliding drop kick to the head. He able to avoid that left hand, but Marston drops him with a body shot. Back up on his feet, whips with the drop kick. Irish whoop again. Comes back. Marston sliding underneath. Snaps off the Hurricane Rana. Follows it up with a leg drop. Jester back up to his feet now. Marston unloading with a series of elbows there. Pulls him away, cover here, one. No, oh, Jester gets the shoulder up before two. To avoid that spin kick. Modified drop toe hold, Jester off the ropes, but Marston back up to his feet, lock up. Marston, another vertical suplex. Oh, eye leaping knee drop right to the face. Lock up here, Jester with the Irish whip, comes back, there's the arm drag that time. Pulls Marston away, and now Jester loading with the ground and pound here. Marston able to knock him off, to lock up again, Jester picks the leg, dragon screw. 
Oh, now looking to work the leg here. Cover. One. Larson gets the shoulder up before two. To avoid that spin kick. Takes just down with a snap. Man, follows it with the dragon screw. And another. Lock up here. Jester with a double leg slam. Double knees right to the stomach. Spinning leg lock there. Back. Oh, the right hook of God. Japanese leg roll. One, two. Jester able to kick out. Well, now Marston. Oh, no. Jester able to counter with a back body drop. Circles behind. Bridging back suplex. One, two. Marston able to kick out. To lock up here, kick to the midsection. Twist off, fade by Jester. Into the Jester's crowd. One, two. Marston barely kicking out of that predicament. Misses with that left hand. Drops Jester with that series of elbows. Pulls him up. Oh, another right hand. Jester drops him with that elbow to the jaw. Marston with the drop toe hold. Cobra clutch. Richard Cobra clutch locked in. Trying to bridge back as much as he can here, but Jester able to slip out of it. Pulls Jake back up. Oh, sleeper slam. Two lock up again. Kick to the midsection. Oh, twist of fate yet again. Jester bridges into the Jester's car. One, two. No, Marston again able to break out. Just whip crash into the corner. Marston dumps Jester to the outside. Going after him here. Pulls him up onto his feet. Jester. No, Marston counters with a backdrop. Right into that unforgiving floor. Back up, lock him. Oh, the right hook of God. Back up. Jester with the cutter that time. Counter 13. Jester back up to his feet. Now is Marston. Both back inside, breaking the count. Marston from behind, but Jester again with the cutter. Jester to the top. Jester's drop right across the back. Is that going to do it? La Mahi's throw. Caught him in the ropes, says Carnegie. Marston again sends him to the outside, going after him. Pulls him back up. Oh, what a super kick. Pulls Jester back up, lock up. Jester with the running bulldog. Face first to the floor. Marston's rock. Oh, Jester with the boot to the midsection. Misses with that spin kick. Ball back inside. Jester from behind gets caught with the Pele kick. Now it's Marston to the top. One last ride. Stop to the back. Has Jester back up. Oh, here they go. Marston, Jester, Marston, Jester. Marston spinning heel kick finds its mark. Pulls it. No, Jester with the drop toe hold. Pulls Marston back up behind. Marston again with the Pele kick. But Jester back up to his feet. Oh, inside cradle. One, two. Oh, Jester barely getting the shoulder up. Irish whip. Marston off his wound. Jester looked at the flying knee. But now Marston running bulldog. To the top. Marston waiting. Diving cross body finds its mark. Pulls Jester back up, catches him with that right hand. Has him back up. Series of elbows right to the face. Has him back up, circles behind. Flying knee to the back of the head, good lord. Has Jester back up, kick to the midsection. Has him back up, lock up. It's an arm drag there by Marston. To the top. No, Jester able to avoid the elbow drop. Pulls him away. No, Marston, it's like Cradle. One, two, three, he got him. Here is your winner by pinfall, Jake Marston. What a battle, but the craftiness of Jake Marston is able to top the psychotic one's violent nature. He's able to walk away with what is only his second win here in MCCW, and unlucky for Jester. Still struggling to find that foothold.
All right, without further delay, folks, let's get right into the next match here on Voltage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 234 pounds, Carter West Jr. CWJ still on that on and off streak as of late. Can't exactly find the momentum that he really wants in order to climb the rankings. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 226 pounds, Kabuto Yosuke. Heir to the throne, able to come out victorious in his debut last week over Jake Marston, even bloodying the young towel and within minutes of the opening bell. But I think he's definitely looking to repeat that success here tonight, but Carter West Jr. is someone you can't take lightly. There's the bell to lock up, and Kabuto already with an Irish whip, ducks down, gets off the ropes, and the two end up colliding there. Kabuto with a knee lift to the midsection, Carter back up to his feet, Irish whip, Kabuto off as well. CWJ ducking the layer, catches him with that forearm, drops him with the double leg slam. Back up, CWJ this time with the elbow falls up with a jumping one right to the back of the head, but Kabuto with a knee lift. A lock up, just strength here, Kabuto pushing back. Ooh, catching Carter with that elbow, but Carter with a scoop slam. Turns over to the half crab here. Kabuto quickly breaking out of it. A lock up, and Kabuto unleashing with that torrent of punches. Good lord. Goes Carter West on to the back there. Back up, there's the knee lift. To avoid that forearm. Drops CWJ with that elbow, falls with the stomp. Avoids the left hand, lock up here, and Kabuto with a scoop slam that time. Another stomp to follow. CWJ with the farms carry that time, and now into the half crab here. But Kabuto again, very easily breaking out. Carter sends him into the corner. Kabuto having none of it as he drops him with a shot right to the ribs. A lock up here, but Carter this time with the elbow to the jaw. Back up and Kabuto this time with the DDT. Follows it with another stomp. Back up, lock up here. Oh, Kabuto just attacking the torso there with that torrent of knee lifts. Stomp to the back and another. Grab Carter with the scoop slam. Pulls Kabuto away from the corner, sits him up. Oh, what a draw kick. Catches him with that forearm, able to sidestep the lariat. A lock up, a Kabuto with another DDT. Both men to their feet here, another lock up. Kabuto this time with the elbow to the back. Now unloading with the ground and pound right to the back of the skull. Carter able to throw him off. Avoids the lariat. Kabuto toss him to the corner, lining him up. Misses with the drop kick. Carter pulls him away from the corner. There's the leaping elbow to the head. Well, now here they go. Kabuto, Carter, Kabuto, Carter. Kabuto went in that exchange there. It's an up drop kick right to the back of the head. Kabuto again going back to the ground and pound. The loading. Carter able to throw him off. Lock of Kabuto tossing him into the corner. Going after him. Roll has him up. Roll pump DDT. Spiked him on his head with that one. Pulls him away. Kabuto has him back up. Leaping cutter. Carter bouncing back up to his feet, catches Kabuto with that left hand. Elbow to the spine, pulls him back up, circles around. But Kabuto, unloading with that combination of punches, comes off the ropes, running kick to the ribs. Pulls Carter back up to his feet. Oh, Kabuto! The Kabuto breaker coming one, two! No, oh, Carter barely getting the shoulder up. Double leg slam from the Houston native. Pulls Kabuto away from the ropes. Now Carter looking to fly at second thoughts about it, however. To lock up and Kabuto sends him into the corner. Lock up. Well, oh, Carter catches him with that short arm Larry. And now Carter looking to fly. Scores with a knee drop right to the ribs. Kabuto up to his feet as is Carter. 
Now, Kabuto's vertical suplex and sends Carter crashing to the outside. Air to the throne, wasting no time, and he drops Carter with the DDT. As a back up, the Carter, the famous sir! Twisting elbow drop to the jaw. Back up, short on Lariat. So back up discus, chop sends him crashing. But Kabuto quickly rolls back inside. Well, Carter got a suke clutch, but too close to the ropes. Irish whipping Carter ends up crashing into the corner there. And a misjudge the distance. Back up, lock up, Kabuto sends him into the corner. Lock up, now Kabuto hammering away with stops in the corner. There's Carter back up. Discus elbow right to the jaw. That might do it. Look at the live one. Two, three, he got him. Here is your winner by pinfall, Kabuto Yosuke. And the heir to the throne able to claim yet another victory here with a rather dominant display over Carter West Jr. Not letting up or giving the man a chance to breathe in most cases. Unlucky for Carter West Jr. Still not able to find that momentum, but congrats are still in order for Kabuto on picking up back-to-back -back wins in his new in his new coming here to MCCW. All right, without further delay, folks, let's get right into the next match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from anywhere but Anaheim, California, weighing in at 224 pounds, Ian Dempsey. Franchise has been starting to surge a bit ever since his rocky beginning here in MCCW. Things are starting to look up for him, but tonight he's got one hell of a challenge. And his opponent from Raleigh, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Mistress Discipline. While some were talking about how Discipline might be considered for the qualifiers for the NA Championship, recent losses have wounded her chances of getting in, and last week was pretty much the cutting point there. Fight. There's the bell, and this contest is underway. Test of strength here. Dempsey trying to push back with Discipline, having none of it. Dempsey with the scoop slam. Discipline back up on her feet. Catches Dempsey with that knee lift. This is with the forearm. A lock up here. Catching Dempsey with that elbow that time to lock up. Dempsey with the drop toe. To lock up, and Mistress with a very loud slap there. Lock up, Discipline with another knee lift. Lock up to strength here, Discipline, trying to get the better. Able to send Dempsey crash to the outside. He rolls back in. To lock up, Discipline with another elbow to the jaw, follows it up with an elbow drop. Lock up, Dempsey with a left hand there. Discipline with a scoop slam that time, early cover. But Dempsey kicks up before Carnegie can move and drop to the mat. Oh, Discipline very stiff knee with follows up with a double knee press. Dempsey with a knife edge chop. Follows it up with a DDT there. Discipline back up to her feet. Avoids the right hand. Dempsey with the Irish whip and Discipline crashes into the corner. This is with that left hand. Dempsey catching with another chop. Discipline retaliating with the right hand. Tries for the naughty chop, but Dempsey with the power bomb. This one kicks out before Carnegie can even slap his hand on the canvas. To lock up again. Oh, and Dempsey, I'm not even sure if I can even call that Dick Kick City, but you know what? We've been calling it the entire time. We're going to continue to do so. Discipline, Dempsey. Discipline one in that exchange there. Pulls Dempsey away. Oh, Hill Hook locked in here. He's trying to twist the ankle, but Dempsey not having it. Irish whip, back, oh, catches Dempsey in the sleeper hold. Oh, but Dempsey able to elbow his way out. This is with that slap, Discipline catching Dempsey with that kick, but gets dropped with the elbow from the franchise and follows it up with a knee breaker. Discipline again, this with a slap, but catches Dempsey with that right hand. Able to 
pick the leg that time. Just Dempsey back up. To lock up. Just with another right hand. Lock up. Dempsey drops her with the DDT. Both to their feet. Oh, just went catch him with the slap. That time falls up with the series and elbows to the temple. Takes Dempsey away from the ropes. But Dempsey with the eye rake. Just the Irish discipline, not having it. Discipline again with the elbows. Puzzle of the stomp to the leg. Lock up again. Irish whip. But off as well, running forearm right to the face. Follows it up with a running knee drop. Discipline as up. Sit up, pile driver right on his head. Pulls Dempsey back up. But Dempsey takes her down with a snap mare. Cover one. Discipline able to get the shoulder up. Boards that right hand, misses with the forearm. Dempsey, brass knuckle shot right to the nose. Hook of the leg, one. Discipline getting the shoulder very quickly there. Dempsey, leaping arm breaker. Pulls Discipline back up, gets caught with the elbow. Goes behind the Dempsey with the snap there. Back up, Dempsey, another DDT. Back up to his feet as his discipline. Discipline shining big boom right to the jaw. Hook of the leg. One, two. Dempsey able to get the shoulder up. That left hand all the drops discipline the DDT. Dempsey thinking about flying there, but he had second thoughts on it. Discipline with a very stiff body shot. Oh, now just taunting Dempsey as he's just stomping away at the leg. Dempsey back up, drops it with another shot to the ribs. Pulls him away from the rub, stomp to the jaw that time, and a stomp to the leg, and again. This one looking to do some serious damage. Shining big boot yet again. Hook of the leg. One, two. Dempsey over get the shoulder up again. Catches Discipline with that left hand, and a second. Oh, he gets dropped with that right hand from Discipline. Pulls him away again, just taunting him. Waist lock and there's a reverse neck breaker there by Discipline. Both to their feet now, walk up, Irish whip. Back, big hip toss there by Discipline. And again, just taunting Dempsey. Catching him with that left hand, lock up, leaping arm breaker. Discipline pulling him away from the corner, back, back up. Trying to create some space, lock up, but Discipline again, shining big boot right to the jaw. Pulls him away, look at the leg here, one, two. Boy, Dempsey barely getting the shoulder up that time. Lock up, Wolf. Discipline into the naughty child, but Dempsey has his foot up on the rope. Oh, and Dempsey with the arm. Drops Discipline with that elbow. Dempsey looking to fly. Scores with the elbow right to the spine. Gets discipline away. Has him back up. Discipline. Oh, gets countered with the power bomb. One, two. Discipline now with a power out. But again, leaping arm breaker. Pulls Dempsey away from the ropes there. Has him back up. Your waist lock elbow right to the sternum. Discus chop right across the face. Good lord. Oh, now here they go. Dempsey. Discipline. Dempsey. Discipline. Dempsey. Oh, hi. Leaping into Geary. Discipline back up. Irish whips it into the corner. Line. Oh. Try to line her up. Well, but Dempsey, the golden rule. Hook of the leg. One, two. Oh, Discipline barely getting the shoulder up there. Lock up. Discipline setting him to the corner, but Dempsey just slams her right down. Dempsey. Oh, what a frog splash. Brought too close to the ropes is Carnegie. And Discipline looking to fly. Oh, what a foot stomp. Discipline looking to get a breather, and Dempsey back up on his feet, and he sends Discipline crashing to the outside. Dempsey gets a breather in. Quickly rolling back inside here. 
Oh, Dempsey, kick to the midsection, brass knuckles, shot right to the jaw. Throws discipline away, hook of the leg, one, two. Oh, discipline barely getting the shoulder up there. Catches Dempsey from behind, sends him to the corner, lining him up. Misses with the back elbow. And Dempsey looking to fly, scores at the elbow drop. Dempsey back into his feet, pulls Discipline back up. Irish with by Discipline. And he Dempsey up again, he's able to sidestep the back elbow. Scores again with the elbow drop. Dempsey back into his feet, Discipline as well, leaping arm breaker. Discipline looking to fly again. Double knees right to the spine. Pulls Dempsey away from the corner, has him back up. Oh, but Dempsey, a franchise factor! Turns her over, cover one, two, three, he got her! Here is your winner by pinfall, Ian Dempsey! And Dempsey able to overcome the odds and pick up. Surprising victory over Discipline with a surprise franchise factor. Congrats to Dempsey on that one. Unlucky for Discipline. Definitely looked like she was taking it to Dempsey. Early stages of the match with the franchise. Able to slip by and pick up the victory. All right, with that, folks, we've now got the qualification matches to look at and see who will go on to November 20th to compete in for the chance to be the inaugural MZCW North American Champion. So without further delay, let's get right to it. The following contest is a qualification match set for one fall. Introducing first, from parts unknown, weighing in at 288 pounds, Ozzy Mendius. Ozzy Mandius able to pick up back-to-back -back victories over Jester, showing his dominance in each match and the power that he has. Interesting challenge tonight. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Plant Berg. Magic Maker himself has been making a lot of waves over the course of the past several weeks, scoring victories over the likes of Nelly Angel and Jason Justice. And, some parts of and also Leon Chant last week. But now he's probably got one of his biggest Fight. challenges in the form of Ozymandias, and I mean that in size and also endurance. Test the strength here, and Ozzy, just see the power there, just overpowering. Drops Burke with the elbow, turns him over early cover here, but Burke Popping the shoulder up very rapidly. The lock up here, and Ozzy with a shot right to the midsection. Lock up, Burke with the Irish whip, and Ozzy, very wisely catching himself on the rope there. Sends Burke to the corner. Burke not able to catch him with that magic trick. Able to avoid the head, but he gets Ozzy with a slap to the back of the head. Ozzy with a drop toe hold. Lock up, and Burke again with another drop toe hold, but Ozzy. Quickly back up on his feet to catch the right hand, and there's a very powerful body shot. Oh, Ozzy hammering away with the right hand. Burke knocks him off. Knocks him lock up, but Ozzy big body slam. Massive stomp to follow as well. Irish will no, Ozzy reverses off the ropes. Burke able to duck the lariat there. But Ozzy, another powerful scoop slam. Burke back up on his feet to lock up. Oh, what a slap. Ozzy again able to avoid the spell. Burke away from the ropes. The leg here, but Burke kicks out. Lock up. Ozzy again for the Irish. Whip! Oh, jeez. Just turned him inside out with that lariat. Just looking to cause mayhem on the leg there. Oh, now here they go. Burke. Ozzy. Burke, Ozzy, Burke, Ozzy won in that exchange. Pulls Burke away from the ropes. Back up on his feet here. This is the layer Burke catching with that right hand. This is the slap. Now Ozzy, oh, what a gourd buster. Some of the big stomp right there to the back. 
Oz. No, Burke able to twist out of it this time. Whoa, and Ozzy just overpowering him. Goes behind. Oh, now he has Lance up in a torture rack here. But Burke able to get hold of the ropes, but he gets leveled with that lariat from Ozzy. Back up and then another standing lariat cover. One, two. Burke able to get the shoulder up. Catches Ozzy with that slap. Oh! As him with that magic trick, and again! Ozzy, very confused by all of this. Burke able to drop him with an elbow that time. Oh, he gets caught with that headbutt. Ozzy again with another powerful body shot as he has Burke back up. But Burke picks the leg, and there's a dragon screw. Follows it up with a stomp, but Ozzy back up on his feet here. Oh, he has Burke. Oh, oh there's a power. Again, and a second power bomb, and a third, good lord. Burke somehow back up on his feet, catches Ozzy with that left hand. Ozzy sends him into the ropes, all oh, kitchen sink. There's Burke back up. Oh, but Burke, oh, what a low blow. Guess you gotta try to pull out all the stops that you can against someone like Ozzy. Ozzy looks barely phased by that. Oh, Jesus, what a flapjack. Misses with the Lariat that time, but absolution. Burke, however, able to get a hand to the rope. Well, Burke, oh, what a backdrop. Pulls Ozzy away from the ropes. Ozzy back up to his feet. Oh, no, he has a... Oh, oh what a powerbomb. One, two. Oh, Burke barely getting the shoulder up. Catches Ozzy with that kick. Oh, but Ozzy has him up, and there's the Gord Buster. Just taunting Burke with that. Has him back up. Oh, what a headbutt. Ozzy up with a stomp to the jaw. Burke able to slam him down, and there's a knee drop right to the jewels. Ozzy again seemingly unfazed, but oh, Burke caught him with the mist. Catches him with the left hand. Whoa, oh, but he's throwing to the ropes. Oh, what a choke slam! Ozzy has him back up. Oh, lighting him up here. Oh my god, what a spear! Hook of the leg. One, two. No, Burke gets the shoulder up. I don't know how. But Ozzy throws him into the corner. Drops him with a body shot. Ozzy just playing up to the crowd at this point, taunting Burke. Oh, what a shoulder tackle. Stomp to the jaw as he pulls Burke back up. I, oh, Burke able to reverse. Comes off. Ozzy able to duck it, but he gets caught with a swinging neck breaker. Lance with the cover one. Ozzy very quickly powering out. Burke with the drop toe hold. Stomp to the back. Back up and Ozzy with another body shot. But Burke. Retaliates with an Irick, able to block the left hand there. Whoa. Burke! Oh, jeez, he just leveled Ozzy with those steel knuckles! Stomp to the midsection, Ozzy back up to his feet, misses with the Lariat. Burke drops him with the DDT! Ozzy back up to his feet, so is Burke, Irish whip. Comes back. Oh, what a mountain bomb there by Burke. Pulls Ozzy with the rope, stomps on him, cover one. Ozzy again, able to get the shoulder up before two. But Burke drops him with another DDT. Pulls him away from the ropes. Another knee drop right to the jewels. Burke just trying to pull everything in his arsenal to put down Ozzy Mandius. Just trying to take it to the outside here. But Ozzy drops him with a body shot. Just playing up to the crowd here. Back up. Oh, wax handle right to the back. As Burke up and Burke again with the low blow. Now Burke with the steel chair. Drives it right to Ozzy's back. Irish whip and he sends him crushing the barricade. Only staggers him and Ozzy now back inside. Burke trying to create space. Oh, but Ozzy has him up. Oh, Burke counters. One, two. Ozzy able to get the shoulder up. Back up, Irish whip. Comes back, sit out, spine buster, one, two, three, he got him! Here is your winner and advancing to the MCCW.
AEW North American title match, Lance Burke! What a comeback there from wrestling's last true magic maker. He's able to put down the brute, Ozzy Mandius, and just punched his ticket to the North American title match in just a couple of weeks' time. Oh, man. I'm not going to lie. I honestly thought Ozzy had him there in the end, but Burke pulling off the upset in that one. And we'll be seeing him in the in one of the big matches <laughs> on November 20th. Congratulations, Lance, on that one. Unlucky for Ozzy. It's been one hell of a spine buster that Burke gave him. My God. Well, I'm certainly surprised by that, folks. But, you know, let's just keep the momentum going. Continue on to the next match that we have lined up here on Voltage. Supreme Main Event, coming at you now. The following contest is a qualification match set for one fall. Introducing first, Seoul, South Korea, weighing in at 195 pounds, Agnam! Agnam not having the best stroke of luck as of late, having suffered back-to-back -back losses to opponents in the forms of Nelly Angel and Apprentice Champion Kazuko Shirai, where it looked like he appeared to dominate, but it was not meant to be. And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 180 pounds, Chris Quake! Same can be said for Chris Quake as well. Not exactly having the best run as of late. Suffering some rather vital losses. But still able to have enough. He's able to land himself a chance of punching his ticket here to the North American title match if he's able to beat Ognum here. There's the bell. Quake already missed with the drop kick. The two lock up. Trying for the Irish whip at Ognum. Not having any of it. Just Quake with that right hand. The two lock up. But Quake with the drop toll hold there. Lock up Quake this time with the elbow to the back and follows it up with a leaping knee drop. This is with the left hand catches Ogden with the European uppercut. Away from the rubs, Ogden back up to his feet. Irish whip. Off. Quake up to avoid the double chop. Ogden. Oh, Quake up to twist out of the suplex there. Able to avoid that right hand. He catches Ogden with one of his own and just driving that knee right into the midsection. Misses with the drop kick. Scrambles back up onto his feet. Misses with the Enzigiri there. Lock up Ogden with the left hand. Misses with the slap. Quake again with that big knee lift. Pulls Ogden away. And now Quake. Ankle lock cinched in here. Ogden smartly kicking out the leg from underneath. Lock up now. Ogden. Fireman's carry neck breaker. Good lord. Cover of a Quake very quickly powering out. Lock up, Ognum with the forearm smash there. But Quake responding with a European uppercut. Spinning leg lock that time. Lock up, Ognum able to pick the leg that time. Oh, and he just drops Quake with that debilitating headbutt. Ognum hammering away with the left hands here, but he's quickly knocked off by Quake. So the Irish whip here, and the two end up colliding. I'm able to strike with the archive. Quake quickly back up to his feet. Think Ogden exactly got all of it. Covered by Quake, who manages a count of one. Lock up. Cut by Quake. Ogden retiring. Quake. Ognom. Quake. Ognom. Quake winning that exchange. Sits Ognom up. Crossface. Chicken wing locked in here. Ognom able to break out of the hold. Lock up. Quake vertical soup lets an Ognum tumbles to the outside. Quickly rolls back in. Lock up and Ognum loading with the knees to the ribs. Turns quick over. Cover here. Caught up in the ropes as Carnegie. Quake dropping Ognum with the elbow. Ognum away. Quake. Ankle lock locked in again. Twist as much as he can here, but Ognum again able to kick the leg out. Oh, and he gets absolutely level with that drop kick. Quake pulls him back up. 
Catching him with that right hand. Misses with the second, however. Quick with the Irish whip it on. Catching himself on the rope. Oh, and just raking the eye there that time. So lock up. Quake, another vertical suplex. Back up on his feet now. So lock up and Quake drops Ogden with that elbow. There's the way the ropes. He has Ogden back up on his feet. Oh, but Ogden with a series of elbows. Quake back up on his feet here. Sends Ogden into the corner. Oh, Lock up Quake, sends him to the opposite corner. After a lock up, but Ogham sends Quake into the corner. Ogham fly across armbar. Give up. Trying to hyper extend that elbow, but Quake able to break out. Ogham away, and Quake again, back to that ankle lock. Really looking to deal damage. Ogham again, smartly kicking out the leg. Size one another up here. Quake. Super slam. Ogden away from the ropes. Twisting elbow drop right to the jaw. Ogden back up to his feet. Catches Quake with that knee lift. Pulls Quake back up. Irish whip. Ogden off as well. The two end up colliding. Quake. Oh, gets caught with another flying cross arm bar from Ogden. Quake again able to quickly break out of it. Quake again. Turning the favor, ankle lock again. Give up. Really trying to twist it as much as he can, but Ogden again able to break out. That right hand, but he's able to drop Ogden with a swinging neck breaker. Whoa, and he catches him with the Enzigiri that time. Turns him over, cover, one, two. Ogden gets the shoulder up. Quake with the Irish whip sends Ogden into the corner. Coming after, but Ogden sends Quake tumbling to the outside. Oh, Quake was with the drop kick there. Lock up. Since Ogden crashing into the guardrail. Well, but now Ognob has a, a pancake slam onto the floor. Good lord. Lock up. Ognob vertical suplex. Quake up to his feet. To lock up. Ognob sends him crashing to the guardrail. Lock up. Quake kick to the midsection. Shining wizard to the temple. Hook of the leg, one, two! No longer be able to get the shoulder up. Two lock, oh, Quake with the swinging neck breaker. Quake, gonna fly, 450 splash, one, two! No longer be able to get the shoulder up. Gets decked with that right hand from Quake. It's to the top, frog splash right across the back, good lord. Pulls Ogden away from the ropes. Turns him over, hook of the leg. One, two, three. He got him, Ogden's too late. Here is your winner in advancing to the MCCW North American title match, Chris Quake. And the Sydney native able to punch his ticket to November 20th with the victory here tonight. Another tough battle, but Quake able to overcome the crafty one that is Ognum, who again, perhaps I think in what is the third straight week, was cucked yet again. All right, with that, folks, we now got our big main event to look forward to featuring two men who have really been getting quite a few sets of eyes on them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is a qualification match. Introducing first, from the unknown realm, weighing in at 240 pounds, Trickster. Trickster suffered his very first loss last week. The debuting headhunter was one hell of a slugfest. Trickster unfortunately came up short. And his opponent, from Wexford Town County, Wexford, Ireland, weighing in at 195 pounds, Maverick! Iconic Prince, really been trying to set the bar here in MCCW, scoring a big victory over Bone Cold Ray Nishimori last week. One hell of a contest. Now Maverick has yet another big challenge, this time in the shape of Trickster. 
Grabs the bell. The main event is underway. Maverick with a dragon screwed right out the gate. Trickster responding with a knee lift there. Follows up with a double knee press right to the back. Maverick with that elbow smash. Maverick responding with an elbow of his own. Locked up. But Trickster rapid chops to the side of the neck. Lock up. Maverick with an elbow to the head. He takes Trickster down with a scoop slam. Back up on his feet, but it's just a load with those body shots. Maverick missing with that right hand, and Trickster catching him with that left. Maverick catching him with the right that time. He's off the ropes! Oh, Maverick able to avoid the Joker's lariat there. That definitely might have spelled an early doom. Trickster, oh, just levels Maverick with that palm strike. Now hammering away with the ground and pound. Maverick able to knock him off. Lock up, oh, what a shot to the throat there by Trickster. Lock up, Maverick, elbow right to the back and follows up with the knee drop. See lock. Oh, Maverick with the elbow, follows up with another leaping elbow drop. See lock up again, Maverick this time with the knee lift. Whoa, cross legged STF here, but Trickster able to break out. Maverick drops with another elbow. Back up to his feet, sends Maverick into the ropes and levels him with that straight right. Running headbutt right to the chest. Oh, now here they go. Trickster, Maverick, Trickster, Maverick, Trickster winning that exchange there. Stomping away on the iconic Prince. Oh, what a heavy elbow there. He's off the ropes and there's another head drop right to the chest. Maverick drops him with the DDT. Twisting elbow drop right to the jaw, misses the kick. Maverick again with another DDT. Just Trickster back up, misses with that right hand. Trickster just unleashing that body shot. Loading with the stomps. Oh, Trickster goes behind, falls back into the Jester's dream. He's got the legs wrapped around the body. Maverick able to break out of the hole. Maverick snaps off the Hurricane Rana. Oh, what a leg drop. Trickster able to block against the right hand there. Now Trickster off the gross Joker's Lariat. Hook of the leg, one, two. Maverick able to get the shoulder up. First time anyone's kicked out of that. Trickster sends him to the corner of Maverick, reverses. Oh, but Trickster levels up with that body shot cover again. One, two. Maverick able to get the shoulder up. Knee drop right to the spine there. Sends Trickster back up. Oh, gets caught with that one-two combination, but he sends Trickster with the ropes. He's smart for catching himself. Trickster goes behind. Standing Jester's dream locked in. Trying to make Maverick fade here, but he's able to twist out of the hole. Trickster again with another body shot that drops the iconic Prince. Back up to his feet here. Whoa! No! Modified neckbreaker right on the knee. Pulls Maverick up. Yeah. Maverick belly to belly suplex. Trickster back up on his feet here. Goes behind. Oh, good lord, what a backdrop. He dropped him right on his head. Maverick able to pick the leg there. He is woozy and he gets level with that palm strike. Elevated Cloverleaf here by Trickster. Pretty much trying to break Maverick with this one. Conic Prince able to break out. Trickster able to block against the punches there and he drops Maverick with that shot to the throat. Trickster goes behind, gets caught with the elbow. Sidekick there from Maverick, but he gets level with that combination. Whoa. Conic Prince resorting to old ways there. Stomp right to the back, Trickster back into his feet, gets caught with the left hand. Oh, pendulum backbreaker. Maverick back up to his feet. Trickster, reverse pile driver, spikes him on his head. Falls into the feed, one two combination to the back of the head. Trickster, Jester's dream, Jester's dream. Trying to pull back as much as he can. Look at the pain on Maverick's face. Able to break out, Enzi Gear to the back of the head. Maverick off the ropes, Trickster, however, back upon his feet. Lock up, Trickster fires him across the ring into the corner. Lock up, 
Oh, and now a loaded with the knees right to the midsection. Maverick back up to his feet. Walk up. Drop Strixer with the DDT. Maverick looking to fly. Had second thoughts about it. Oh, Trixer has him up. Modified neck breaker right on the knee. Pulls Maverick back up and now Trix are loaded with that series of punches. Pulls Maverick back up. Oh, the ropes on Maverick responding with a snap layering of his own. Goes Muhammad, he gets caught with that elbow. Trickster, elevated cover to Maverick submits. Here is your winner in advancing to the MCCW North American title match. Trickster! And the brutish member of the Dark Carnival able to avenge his loss from last week. A rather vital victory over the iconic Prince is now Trickster joins Chris Quick and Lance Burke in the MCCW North American title match. That definitely shakes it up a bit. For sure. Man. All right, with that, folks, that is going to wrap up this week's edition of Wednesday Night Voltage. And what a ride it has been from start to finish. But there isn't much else to say other than from what the board's told me, the pay-per-view name still in the works. Should hopefully finally have it squared away by next week. Or who knows, maybe sometime during the weekend. But until then, it still remains up in the air. But aside from all that, there's really not much else to say. Uh, but thank you all to those who came out tonight. Thank you to the viewers at home for tuning in for the weekly broadcast. Uh, I don't know how else to kind of word it other than that. I'm doing this outro for how many months now? Three going on four. But you all know the drill. Again, my name is Alistair Mayfield. Thank you all again for tuning in. I'll see you all tomorrow for another edition of Thursday Night Ignition. Take care and good night.